Do your job. Marcos here for FightHubTV.com in Fullerton, California. We're standing right here at the CSW Training Center where I wanted to get to the bottom of a question. Now, in his last fight, Hector Lombard called out Josh Barnett. A lot of you guys, as myself included, wanted to find out why Hector Lombard called out Josh Barnett. So I came here, I wanted to speak to Eric Paulson, and let's go ahead and hear it from the horse's mouth. He's conducting class right now, but let's go ahead and get him. We walk over here. And there's the man himself, Eric Paulson. And let's go ahead and talk to him. We're here at CSW with Eric Paulson here in Fullerton, California. Eric. Last week, Hector Lombard came out during the telecast and uh, kind of had some words to say about Josh. And I know Hector used to train here at CSW. I just wanted to get your opinion and your view on, on him doing that. Okay. Well, Hector and Josh sparred really hard since day one here. Hector likes to throw hard. Everyone knows that. He likes to spar hard. likes to throw hard. So one day him and Josh in a five minute round turned a five minute round of boxing into a 32 minute round of boxing and they just kept hitting each other harder and harder and uh, basically what I did is I just sat and followed them with a mop and mopped up all the blood because they were both bleeding uh, that was them uh, full of piss and vinegar and whatever and they want to do that it's fight practice so they're both adults they could do that so uh, Hector likes to train, uh, train hard. That's just his M.O. And uh, Josh grabbed him one day and brought him in the cage when I wasn't here. And I walked in, and he had Hector down, and he said, hey, you like to go hard? And, he, and Josh wouldn't let him up because Hector, they, whatever, they, they just have goes. So uh, Hector never forgave him for that. And so it's been bothering him, and he told Josh that uh, the reason he left here was because of that. What was Josh's take on that? How, did you talk to Josh after that uh, call out happened? Um, Josh called me that night, and he said that Hector, while he was in the audience at the fights in Florida, that, um, that Hector Lombard just called him out. He said he was going to fight Hector. And I said, why? He goes, Hector called me out at the fights. He said, I heard Josh Barnett's in the audience. Uh, who would you like to fight in the next fight? He said, I'd like to fight Josh Barnett. Well, he's 185, Josh is 260, so again, that would never happen. So Josh said, I'm going to fight Hector, and I said, oh, wow, really? That's a little mismatch of weight there. Uh, when are you going to fight him? Where? He goes, I'm going to fight him tonight. He goes, he called me out, and I'm going to go have some words with him. Uh, as far as uh, Hector's skill, his skill is unbelievable. His judo is spectacular. Uh, I admire, I like Hector, I don't like people calling people out that train together, I think that's stupid. But apparently Hector still had a problem with it and he called Josh out, so it is what it is. Uh, I know they had words and talked about it afterwards and, and basically I just said that Hector, more than anything, just needed to resolve that issue with Josh and needed love. He basically just had these bad thoughts uh, from that, that whole ordeal. And he wars with everybody, but it was just that Josh gave it back to him, and I think that they had never really had words since then. And you know, he, he saw Josh in the audience, and he just said, "Hey, uh, I want to fight Josh." And it was right after a 38-second win, so you know, it is what it is, and that's it. And I don't have anything else to say about it. They're both grown adults, and if they want to fight. Uh, I'm sure no matchmaker will make it happen because they're both in two different weight divisions or brackets. But uh, there's no money in street fighting. But if they have to settle it that way, which I think should be the last resort, I think they should talk and delegate uh, things to other people, who did what, what, who did what, and be diplomatic about the whole thing. And, and they should be able to talk it out over a beer or uh, maybe over some uh, fisticuffs. We'll see.